and welcome to a install video. This video will show you how to install Stencil. Uh, it is a 2D game engine that we will be using in my video game production class. And this is how to install it and getting it up and running on a Mac OS computer. Okay, so first things first, um, you are going to need to be logged in as an administrator. So if this is my students that are watching, you'll probably need to get one of your parents to um, log in and actually install this while they are logged in. Um, then you will be able to log in and be able to run it just fine. But this has to be run through an administrator account and um, you should see why in a little bit. Okay, so you want to go to stencil.com and click on download. And in this example, we're using it on a Mac computer, so you'll hit download. It'll take a minute or two and then you're going to go look inside your downloads folder. So here's my downloads folder and here's the stencil full DMG file. I'll double click it to get it going and it just pops up like that. Now what you want to do is you generally want to put it inside your applications folder. So um, if I just click on my finder window, uh, you'll see I already have a finder window up here so it doesn't quite let you uh, open a new one. So I need to open a new finder window. So I'm going to right mouse click on the finder blue faces and I'm going to choose new finder window. And there it is there. And I'm going to go to my applications folder. So these are all the main apps on my computer. And I'm going to go ahead and take the entire stencil folder and just drag and drop it right here into the applications folder. And there you'll see it's copying in there and it's all nice and alphabetical and there we are. Okay, so once that's done, then you're going to go ahead and open up the folder, and here's the Stencil app. So you can go ahead and run that, and you're going to say Open, and let's just see what we get. Again, remember, you want to install this under an administrator account. Okay, so we're going to say Remind Me Later on this here, um, and... I'm going to I'm just going to remove these just because you won't have these. Okay, so this is a brand new uh, stencil build. So um, to test this out, what you can do is you can come down here and where it says, uh, do you want to run through the crash course? You can say uh, start crash course and that will take you to the crash course tutorial and you need to download the crash course kit. Uh, so you can click on download it, download it here and it just went to my download folder. Okay, so the way you install the uh, kit is to simply come up here to Stencil's file menu, choose Import Game. Over here on the left, you're gonna click on Downloads and you're going to double click on the Crash Course Kit. And it should go in there just like that. Now you'll see that I have one kit and there it is right there. If for some reason it doesn't uh, work, you can go back to your Downloads folder and you can literally drag and drop it from your downloads folder right into Stencil and that should work. Okay. Um, if you're still having problems, uh, you can simply quit out of Stencil and open it back up again. And there's my kit right there. Okay, so now here's the true test. So I'm going to click on uh, Games click to create a game and I'm going to click on my crash course kit so I can make a game using that kit. I'll choose next. I'll go ahead and call this uh, demo install. Leave everything else the way it is and I'll click on create. Okay, so that worked. So it looks like everything is set up. However, we will need to still do uh, something quite important, I'm pretty sure. Okay, so I'm going to go here to scenes on the left hand side. Remember, a scene is like a level. I'm going to create a scene, and I'll just call this scene um, 1. And I'll go ahead and just give it a color and choose Create. Okay, we don't need to do anything fancy in here. I'm just going to go ahead and put in some grass. There we go. Okay, so now the true test here is I'm going to come over here and click on Test Scene. 
it's probably going to give me an error. Okay, so it gives an error. I'm going to say OK to that. Now, if this is your first time installing uh, Stencil, what is going to pop up is going to be an error message saying that right before you can actually test your game, it's going to say that you need to install something called the Nico or Neko VM uh, software. And you have to have an administrator password to be able to install that. The good news is you only have to do this once. Once you do it, it will unlock it for anybody that uses the computer. So your parent would need to come by and install it, and then that's it. I've already done that on this computer, and that's why it didn't pop up. Okay, so once you've installed that, um, you're now going to come up here where it says platform to test this out. For some reason, both Flash players here, the player and the browser, um, have been giving me trouble with this. Um, if you don't know, Flash is an older technology that plays video and animations, and I can't get it to stop posting this error. So I'm recommending that we use HTML5. Um, that will um, that will be the new um, the new technology that we use, and that will play in a web browser. Now, if you're using the Crash Course Kit, the HTML5 doesn't like the sounds that are included. So what we did in class, so you can test this out, was we had to go to the dashboard, we had to go to sounds, and so these sounds are just not in the correct file format. We will, we will take care of that in class. But that's pretty much it. All I did was I removed the sounds, go back to my scene, HTML5, hit test scene, and now it should open up in a web browser, no problems, no errors. Now there's nothing in my game to do except look at the sky and the grass, but there it is. So it's playing, um, it works, and there we are. So that's it. Um, and again, you only have to go through this step once, and then Stencil is basically up and working and unlocked. I think it is easier on a Windows computer to get it up and going, but once you're running, you can actually work on your games between a Mac computer and a Windows computer and go back and forth, and it's... Uh, very seamless. So um, a little bit of work, but it's totally worth it. All right. Thank you very much, and I will see you in the next video.